this year at Aslam's we had the first ever burns and trauma course. Um, this course focused on treating patients that have large injuries such as burn victims, car accident victims, uh, our wounded warriors uh, with lasers and other modalities to improve their scars. Not only are we looking at the aesthetic improvement but also the functional improvement and the uh, like range of motion using a joint and symptoms such as decreasing itching, burning with these patients. We're early in our work with, with uh, lasers on scars. We've been using uh, the pulse dye laser for about 15 years on scars and, and it definitely has helped with the thickness and the erythema, but the fractional lasers really seem to be emerging as the gold standard for treating all types of scars. And we're using both non-ablative fractional and ablative fractional. Um, I like the ablative fractional a little bit. I think it's more effective and the studies have actually shown that as well. Um, but this has been a game changer in the scar arena and we still work closely with the reconstructive surgeons but even when time and, and the best surgeries have happened, these patients still have disfiguring scars that are problematic and the laser is really giving new hope to our patients. I truly think that the lasers, will, we will keep developing lasers. I hope we have a scar laser that's developed. I think we're going to be putting things down these fractional channels, whether it's drugs or, or biologics that are going to give us new skin. Uh, I think that um, our ability to treat things with imaging systems on the lasers or smart lasers that can help the clinicians do a better job. I just I think it's a very exciting time to be in medicine and lasers are precise physics-based elegant tools that I think have changed the face of medicine.